Good, af good afternoon. We're here today for another chat on happiness, harmony, and compassion. And today I'm using my computer to see how it works. Before we begin, I want to take a few seconds of silence for us to send good thoughts, wishes, prayers, intentions for all of the people all over the world who are being impacted by storms from earthquakes, tsunamis, and the people now in the United States being hit by a hurricane and floods. I didn't even know anything about it. And my husband told me this morning because my sisters live in Florida and Alabama, right in the center of where the hurricane is hit. So let's take a few seconds just to sit and send good wishes for those who need good wishes and light, who need to know that, as it always says, this too will pass. Welcome, Re Rabab Alma. Thank you for joining. Today, continuing on the theme of uh, spirituality, I'm going to talk about specifically how I found my voice and came to decide and be guided that this is the work I should be doing, helping people find happiness, harmony, to practice compassion. This has been a long road for me. I've had many careers in my life. I've done everything from being a secretary, to from selling, uh, being an on-call, online phone salesperson. That was a very short job. Temporary secretary, performance artist, storyteller, administrative assistant, registered nurse, school nurse, substitute school nurse, case manager, and nursing is over. And for the past three years, I've been trying to find my way as an online entrepreneur. And my life started to change and I started to get direction and actually find my voice when I got into voiceover. And that's been about a year ago. And when I got into that business, there was so much to learn and so much available online for free, but it still was hard to navigate and it was much more difficult than I thought it would be. And it took me a long time to realize that basically being of that voiceover artist is being an actress. And you know how hard it is to make a living as an actress. However, I did invest in my first coach, and that was the beginning of up-leveling my understanding of being an online entrepreneur. Because with guidance and finding what other people did, I began to see it's a long road I'd entered on. And there were a lot of tools and information that could help me on the road. But I also had to deal with my mindset, with my thoughts, unconscious thoughts of my inability to make money on my own or through my efforts or my talents. Now, I did get a few jobs as doing voiceover. And I'm still pursuing that, but in a different way, because I want to find the businesses or producers that I want to work for, trying to go out 
and just audition and audition and audition. And I did a lot of auditions was frustrating. And unfortunately, I'm not one of those people who handle rejection well, but I learned and I kept pursuing. And in the process and from my coach, whose tagline when I first started work, working with him was grind and don't quit. And it's not my natural tagline to follow, but it did get me to do something I wouldn't have done otherwise. And that was to enter a contest and win. I actually won this thousand dollar mic that I'm using right now. And it was a really good investment of my time and energy. It introduced me to Instagram. And most of all, it introduced me into seeing what I could do when I really put all of my energy into something. So as I continued along my road and path of establishing a business, I found some other coaches, other people, and continued to expand my knowledge. And while I was doing this, and because I was doing voiceover, I wanted to have a tagline or a business line, business name that would attract business. I spent a couple of days going through the dictionary, looking at every word that begins, began with V. Hi, Yvette. So happy to see you again. I'm talking about today how I found my voice. And so I went through all the words, wrote down the V words that appealed to me. And then I started to combine them into names. And then I looked those names up on Google. Now I found vibrant voice. I found velvet voice, but I did not find vibrant velvet voice. And that's how I came up with a name for my business. And using these words, and as I looked them up, what appealed to me was the meaning of the words. Vibrant, of course, means full of life and vigor. And velvet is more than just a cloth. And it's a very strong cloth. And that asks why V? V, because of voice. And velvet is a strong cloth. If you've ever tried to rip velvet, it's not very easy to do. But it has other meanings other than being soft and smooth. It means winning at a game of chance. And when I look at that, I was born in Las Vegas. I looked at my life and I said, I've won a lot of games of chance because life is many games of chance. It also means offering something beyond the ordinary. And that's what I've always wanted to do as a creative person, as a writer, as a performance artist. Even when I was a nurse, I tried to do my best to do more than ordinary. So Vibrant Velvet Voice was a perfect name for me, pursuing voice, voice over, storytelling, and being of help to other people to help them realize that our whole being is our voice. It's not just how we speak or what we say from our vocal cords. If you take the whole meaning of vibrant velvet voice, you understand that your voice is all you know, how you've lived. Your whole being is your voice. So that was where I was for several months, trying to create a business, create courses to help people find their voice or define their message. And I kept pursuing that until just a couple of months ago when I was taking a course on creating a course. And as I was working on it, trying to define what I wanted to do, I realized I'm having a hard time doing this. This isn't what I want to do. And one day I was sitting down and thought, 
One thing I do know about me is that I'm happy. I'm not rolling in dough. I haven't achieved everything I wanted to in life. But I'm happy. I'm happy because I feel blessed, because I have a spiritual path, because I've been able to pursue the things I've wanted to, because I've been able to get the resources I need, because I'm just happy. And as I thought about it, I thought, this is what I want to do. I want to help people be happy, to understand that happiness is a path you're on and can be on for all of your life. But sometimes we get off that path, and I've gotten off of it many times in my life, which usually led to me making silly decisions or mistakes or in relationships that weren't very good. But I've been fortunate and blessed enough to bounce back. And I attribute that largely to my spiritual practice and also my from childhood sense of gratitude in the simple things as well as the big things in life. And from growing up in a household hold of women and with a mother who always encouraged us to be and do what we wanted to be. So that's how I came to finding the voice that I'm sharing with the world now every day. And I'm calling this series, as I said at the beginning, Happiness, Harmony, and compassion. Because first we have to be happy within ourselves. Because if you're not happy within yourself, you can't be happy or of much use for anyone. And you can't be happy within yourself. You want others to be happy. And when you want other people to be happy, that means creating harmony, creating an environment for people to be cordial and enjoy themselves and experience true happiness, which is not based on what you have or what you do or where you live or who you associate with. As I talked about last week, you find your happiness in your solitude inside of yourself and with some spiritual source. And it doesn't have to be a religion, but something that's immaterial that gives you a sense of strength and leads you to wanting to be good and do good and help others to be happy. And having happiness and harmony leads to compassion, which is that feeling of empathy for people who are suffering and wanting to help end that suffering and that pain. Because you know, once you've attained happiness and have found harmony in your life and the people with your, who you're with, that everyone wants this. Everyone wants to be happy. Now, there's some people who unfortunately are trapped in the poisons of anger, greed, jealousy, and desire, who think they're happy, but they are suffering more than people who are homeless are even in jail because people who are trapped in the poisons of greed, ignorance, desire, hatred, they're so far from happiness and they can't live in harmony and they need our compassion. So, I've talked longer than usual today. It was a bit of a long story to share of how I found my voice. Are there any questions from Yvette or Rabab? Well, with no questions, I'm going to end today's session. Thank you for coming. Thank you out there who may be listening. And I will be back tomorrow. And if you want to 
listen to this again. You can go to YouTube. I usually post it later today or tomorrow. And also below, I will be posting the link to my new podcast of these talks called Happiness, Harmony, Compassion with Skywalker Payne. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day or wonderful evening wherever you are in the world.